Getting Amazon items to Belize. It's a question that I get all the time. And in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys exactly how you can do this because in today's day and age, Amazon is very important. Now, before I dive into that, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about import duties in Belize because this is going to be a major factor of whether you should ship something to Belize or whether you should not and potentially buy it in Belize. So I'm gonna break down some of the import duties, then I'm gonna show you guys three companies that you can use to send your Amazon packages from the United States to the country of Belize. So, hope that sounds good. Without further ado, let's dive in. So first and foremost, if you're making the decision of whether you should purchase in Belize or ship to Belize, it's important to note that import duties are going to be higher in the country of Belize. Now, because we have low property taxes, which are very affordable, we have no estate tax, we have no capital gains tax, Basically, we have a great environment from a tax standpoint all around. The government does need to generate revenue somewhere, and this tends to happen in import duties to the tune of 35% of the total revenue generated from taxes in the country is done by import duties. So I've seen comments of people saying, oh, you know, the import duties are ridiculous. Well, you know, it's give and take. You went on other taxes and import duties cost more. So it's something that we just kind of have to accept and realize that we're gonna benefit in other areas. Now on specific items, they're taxed at different rates. So this can vary from zero up to 120% depending on what the item is. Now, example of things that would be 0% or some types of these items would be certain foods, certain medicines you might find are 0%. Other things will typically be more expensive. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask about automobiles. That's all gonna come down to the make and model and certain other factors. So one thing that I'm going to say right now is when you do an import, you're going to need a customs broker in Belize. So if you need a customs broker, my email is up there. I'm happy to share some customs brokers that I have worked with with you guys. Just shoot me an email. And guys, while you're at it, we put a ton of effort into these Belize videos to try to get you guys the best content. So if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. I love you guys. Now back into the details. So there's three companies that I'm going to be breaking down for you guys. The first one is Hyde Shipping. They're based out of Miami and typically I use Hyde quite a bit for my larger items. They ship by sea. The second company is Belize Freight. They're based out of Houston. They also ship by sea. We'll put their information up in uh, throughout the video here so you can see it. And then finally, I'm gonna talk to you guys about E-Zone. And E-Zone is if I have something smaller because it is more expensive, they ship by air. So I'm not shipping a fridge on E-Zone. Like that's gonna be, if I have a little thing like a phone, who knows what it is, little items, E-Zone. But first up, let's talk about hide shipping. So how does this work? Well, basically the way I do it, when I have my Amazon account and each one of these providers is going to give you an address with the exception of Belize Freight, which has another option, they're going to give you an address that you will put into your Amazon and they will give you an account number with your name. So for example, in Hide Shipping, I use the Hide Shipping address, then William Mitchell, and then my account number, whatever that is. And then when the package arrives to their shipping center, in uh, Florida, they're gonna see Will Mitchell, da, 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 da. they'll know to put that with my stuff. From there, they're going to calculate the cost. You get a login portal online where you can see all of your items they have. Keep in mind with every item that you send there, you will need to provide an invoice and you will need to provide a tracking number so they can make sure they're not losing your packages because that would suck. You want your packages. That's the whole point of this, guys. We're trying to get our packages into Belize. That's the point. So you gotta get that tracking number. Let's talk about the cost though. It's a pretty important thing. So any of our um, really good mathletes out there, you're gonna be able to break this down. For 20 cubic feet, it is 135 US. For 21 to 39 cubic feet, it is 225 US. And for 41 to 75 cubic feet, it is 285 US. Now, the sailing, the sailing dates are two days a week. So the vessels leave from Miami on Friday and they arrive in Belize City on Monday. The cutoff time for deliveries is Tuesday at 12 noon. That's our first option. Our second option is when the vessel leaves from Miami on Tuesday and arrives in Belize City on Saturday. And the cutoff time for deliveries to be at Hyde Shipping to be sent to Belize again is 12 noon. 
So all of your invoices must be forwarded to Hyde Shipping or they're not gonna ship them. So you gotta get those invoices over. And again, I'm gonna pop up the contact info of Nelson and Benny from Hyde Shipping. And if you guys wanna get in touch with them and set an account up, you have it right there. Belize Freight is based out of Houston very similar process to what Hyde does. So a lot of the things I just talked about, they're going to be the same as that. The only difference or some of the main differences are they actually do pick up in select cities in the US. So in Texas, they do pick up in Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. In Florida, Gainesville, Ocala, Ocala Orlando, Lakeland. I'm not gonna name them all. We're gonna pop them up here, Louisiana, New Orleans, Atlanta, North Carolina, South Carolina, New York, Chicago, Baltimore. You guys get the point. They do pick up in a lot of places. Does the freight delivery arrive to my door? Well, I'm glad you guys asked that. The answer here is it actually does. So with Hyde Shipping, when your shipment comes in, you're gonna need your customs broker to clear that. Again, contact me, I can get you help with that. And then from there, typically you're gonna work with a local shipping company to get it to your door. So. For example, for me, I work with Caribbean Queen or one of the barge companies that sends it to the island and then it arrives to me. Or if you're on the mainland, it's probably a little easier. You just get a shipping company on the mainland there. But with Belize Freight, they actually do deliver it door to door. So for example, if you have a package, Belize Freight will do a door to door service. They'll pick it up in the US. They'll deliver it to your door in Belize to all major cities and villages along main highways, and they will also ship to the island. So probably a pretty good advantage of Belize Freight. Maybe Hyde Shipping does this and I'm not doing it right now, but I, a major thing that I think is a, a reason why you might wanna reach out to them. Now let's talk about prices, guys. In the last part with Hyde, I had the price in cubic feet. <laughs> They've given me prices based on box size. So your standard boxes, like example, would be boxes you would find at Home Depot. Small boxes are 35 to 45 US, medium 55 to 75 US, large 90 to 100 US, XL 110 to 130 US, and anything bigger than that, they're gonna need the dimensions and they can provide a quote. Which brings me to our next company, Ezone. So Ezone actually puts these packages on other flights. They do have some cargo flights, but also on airlines. So it might come in on American Airlines or other airlines. Um, Basically, if I'm shipping a small item, I will use E-Zone. They can ship it just about every day. There's some you know, additional things to get it cleared. Again, you're gonna need a customs broker to coordinate all of this with. Now, the key difference with E-Zone, other than that they fly by air, is that they charge by weight, not by size. Some items they will charge by size if they're larger items, but again, going back to my cheat sheet, use one of these guys if it's big. Use these guys if it's small. So for one pound, it's 940. Two pounds, it's 640. Three pounds, it's $5 per pound. Uh, four pounds, it's $4 per pound. Five pounds to 50 pounds, it's 350 per pound. 51 pounds to 250 pounds, it's 325 per pound. 251 pounds to 500 pounds, it is 315 per pound and 501 pounds and over is $3 a pound. There you guys go. So they have shipments coming in frequently. Again, you would need a customs broker with them. At this point, guys, it is definitely more difficult to ship items here with Amazon. There is no denying it. But in the coming years, it will likely get easier. I'm so happy that we can do it. And overall, once you get used to it, it's really not that big of a deal going through the motions of getting your items into the country. But I get a lot of questions about that, so I wanted to answer those questions for you guys. With that being said, I hope you guys get your goods out here to paradise. I hope to see you guys out here in paradise soon. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.